let's say that the swing happens on an arc, which it does, right? And this would be the golfer here, um, you know, looking downwards this way, let's say at, at their ball. Let's say that the middle of this arc is the lowest point. Okay, so let's say that the lowest point, this would be a zero degree angle of attack because the lowest point is the bottom of the arc, right? That's where the angle of attack is flat. You're not ascending or descending. And let's say that this is also a zero degree club path. So let's say just for the heck of this video, that this is like total neutrality would be the middle of this area, okay? Let's say your golf ball is positioned right there and that's where you're hitting it and you're coming in super square. Well, the further back you put the golf ball, what's gonna happen? If you put the ball further back in your stance, you are going to hit down on the golf ball. So you're gonna have a steep angle of attack because the golf ball is here, the lowest point is after. So you're gonna hit down on the ball and then you're gonna catch the lowest point a little bit later. Therefore, you are descending into the golf ball. Your angle of attack is negative. But what happens to your club path? because the lowest point here was total neutrality was zero, meaning your club path is actually gonna be going to the right because that's where this arc is currently traveling before it makes the big turn, right? So your club path is gonna be to the right. So you're gonna have a negative angle of attack, right? You're gonna be hitting down on the ball, but you're gonna have a positive club path. Well, what happens when you put the ball up in your stance? It would be the opposite, right? Pretty simple. So you would actually have a positive angle of attack on this guy because the lowest point happens before and then you are going to be ascending upwards when you hit this golf ball because the lowest point was before therefore your angle of attack would be up but what would happen with your club path well the club path would be negative why would it be negative because if zero degrees was your total neutrality here and you're swinging the same way on this golf ball on both swings well, your club path, because the total neutrality at zero was here, the arc would be now traveling inwards after the lowest point and you would have a negative club path. And therefore, the further up in the stance you put the golf ball, you're gonna hit more up on the ball, but you are gonna swing more left in your case through the ball. You're gonna be more inward. So your club path will actually be negative, okay? When you put the ball further back in your stance, well, you are going to hit more down on the golf ball naturally because the lowest point was here. And if you make the same swing with the ball here, the ball here and the ball here, this will be total neutrality at zero. This would be hitting down on the golf ball, but your club path would be positive because you will be swinging to the right in terms of the club path before hitting the golf ball. And then you would hit the lowest point at zero and go there. So for the sake of this video, that's why I put this as neutral so that you can see it, right? This doesn't mean that this is gonna guaranteed be a positive club path. It's just in this scenario, it will because this is absolute zero, right? If this is absolute zero, the club path will always be positive if you put the ball back in the stance. The club path will always be negative if you put the ball up in the stance. But the point of this video is not to say that that's the guarantee. The point of this is to show you how they are influenced based on the ball position. And so it is very possible that if in the middle of your stance over here, you are hitting a, uh, a draw. Let's say that we, create a separate swing arc, okay? Well, if the lowest point here, let's say like you're putting the ball here and this is where you hit it and you have a negative AOA and a positive club path, well, if you put the ball more up in your stance for the driver, it is very possible that you have a positive AOA, obviously, right? And a negative club path. Let's say we assume that the lowest point is actually here at zero. Right? So if the lowest point is there now and the ball is in the middle of your stance for your irons and you're hitting a negative angle of attack and a positive club path, well, if this is where the neutrality is, putting the ball further up in your stance, let's say like inside the front heel of your front foot for the driver, you could have a positive angle of attack. So you can hit up on the driver and gain some serious speed. And obviously you would be more efficient, right? Your smash factor would be good but you could have a negative club path. So it is very possible that you can have a draw with your irons and a fade with your driver just based on the ball position alone, even if your swing is the exact same on every single one of these shots. So I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know. But this is just a, a visual representation of how it is certainly possible to play um, you know, a draw with one club and a fade with the other, okay?